In this video, I will show you two ways to convert PDF to Word document which is editable. I will be using an example PDF in which I have text and images. It is very easy to convert a PDF. You can do this by using Microsoft Word application. But if this is not installed on your computer, I will also show you another method by using PDF to Word converter which are available online and you don't have to pay anything. But I have put a question mark here and this is very important because when you convert a PDF to Word, you may not get all the fonts available in the original PDF. And I will show you what we can do to get some or all of the fonts. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Now this is the PDF which I would like to convert to an editable Word document. It has some text and also some images. So the simplest way is to open your Microsoft Word application, click on file, open, then browse to the location of the file, click on your PDF file and click open. Word will show you this message that Word will now convert this PDF to a Word document. It may not look like 100% and we normally don't read this and we click OK. Now Word application has converted this PDF to a Word file and at the surface it looks that we got a 100% correct file. But the differences are in fonts. And this was in the message which we don't normally read because if the font is not installed in your Word application, then Microsoft Word will try to optimize and will try to select a font which looks closer to your original font. So let me show you how I created this file and what fonts I used. I created this file in Canva and I used two fonts. One is for this uh, digit 33 and one is for the rest of the text. The font I used for most of my text is Montserrat as you can see here. Now although this font is a free for commercial font, this font is not installed on my Microsoft Word application and I will show you what font I got. Now the second font is a purchased font and this is called Palmer Sans Serif aged. When I purchased this font, I uploaded this to my Canva as well as to my Word application. Therefore, this font is available in Word and I should get this font. Now, let's go back to my converted Word document. If I click here, I got the same font. As you can see that this is the same font. But when I click on the other text, I got Calibri, which is different than the Montserrat which was in the original file. Now in most cases you only want to edit your Word document and fonts are not important. So in that case, this is the way you can convert your PDF to Word document. And now I will show you another method by using an online converter and then I will show you what you can do to get some or all of the fonts which are free for commercial use. Or if you are using only for personal document, you might get a bit more fonts for your personal use. But let me show you the second method by using online PDF to Word converters. And the one I use is called Sajda, but you can also use Soda PDF, PDF to Go, Small PDF. There are many uh, online converters available and most of them will convert your PDF without charging any money. So let us click on this and I reach sajda.com. And now I hover over this all tools and on the right hand side I have this PDF to Word. I click on that and now I click on upload PDF files and I upload my PDF, click open. Now there are two options and I want to use this option, keep layout and I click continue. Now it will process the file and I will see this message when the document is ready. Now I click on download and let me rename this. Now it is saved. Now in my Microsoft Word application, now I open this file and it seems that file is not correctly converted. But when I click on enable editing, I get this file. 
Now in this file as you can see that my text is a little bit misaligned and the font I get is Montserrat, one of uh, Montserrat types which is closely related to the original font as you can see. Instead of Calibri which is the default font in Word, now I got a font which is closely related to my original font. And the second font I got is also the same. Now since we opened this file in Microsoft Word and Word already had this font, so this might be a reason that this text is slightly misplaced because Word tried to optimize this text on its own. But in most cases you will get a perfectly editable Word document by using this online converter or any other online PDF to Word converter. And now let's talk about what you can do to get uh, Montserrat or any other font which are free for commercial use. You simply type Google fonts in Google. Then you open this link fonts.google.com. Now I type Montserrat in this area and I search and now it will show me Montserrat. I click on that and if I scroll down and see the license information. I can see that these fonts are licensed under open font license and I can use this for commercial purpose as well. So if the font is important for my document, you can download this font family. You will get a .tff file. You right click on the file and click on install. The font will be installed. Then you reopen your PDF file in your Word application and you will get this font. Similarly, if some other fonts are missing in your converted document, you can try to find on Google fonts and whether a commercial license or a personal license is available. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.